Hey guys and welcome back to another video. I'm Lil Smurthy. In this video I'm gonna show you how to do lower black rook spire and to basically gain a bunch of gold doing it. So you can do it in many different ways but the way I'm doing it is I'm doing it in a bunch of different poles and I found doing it this way is the fastest and most efficient way. So as you can see in front of you, this is the first pull I'm doing. Then you jump down and you do this little three packs. Because you're gonna do a much bigger pull after this pull, so that's why you just do this little one here. Then you move out and you're gonna do another little pull here. Basic because there is a bunch of range in the mobs as well, so uh, it's better to split them up doing a bit smaller pulls and then when you can lose the mobs you can do a bigger pull. This is the first uh, bigger pull that I'm doing. You pull them all, you go over to this side, you pull the corner pack. And then I get rooted here, so I was like, well, might as well block then, because you don't really need block on any of the poles in here. Then you go out, then you do your AUE, you use Dragon's Breath, Flame Strike proc, Blast, Blast Wave, and the Flame Strike proc. That's basically the standard. Then this one is a bit bigger pull here. Make sure I tag as many mobs as I can, or like all of them, basically. I pull the far right mob, uh, the far right pull pack there, and then I get rooted here as well. But you do want to loss here, uh, right in the corner, so every mobs that are ranged come to you as well. And here you basically AOE them down. You can put the living bomb on the boss, so he keeps ticking with the AOE, and then you finish them off. And then here you want to jump down, so if you're a mage you blink, if you're a rogue you will survive. Uh, you can also block it if you don't have blink, slow fall. And if you're other classes you can jump on like different ledges, like the rock you see, see there behind me, to basically mitigate the fall damage. But either way, this is probably the biggest pull that I'm doing in here, so I make sure I pull every single pack. If you're lucky, you can see that Bannock is up, he can drop some um, uh, recipes, if I'm not mistaken, uh, I'm not really sure, but uh, it's a rare, so it's good. And as you can see, I'm losing here, and then when I kill those, I pull the next pack here, and I lost again. When you're doing this pack I'm really doing right now, you could pull the mobs behind you as well, and then go back to the other side and do these two packs in one pull is probably more efficient. So as you can see right now, I'm pulling the mobs and then I'm losing by the corner and then I just AUE them down. So what you want from doing this is basically a shit ton of rune cloth. If you are an enchanter, it's always good to get the enchanting mats. Yeah, I mean, getting greens and blues, you can disenchant them and get some extra gold from that, but the main income will be from basically raw gold and rune cloth. When you're doing this pack here, they stun you once in a while, so you want to make sure you put flame strike down on the ground when you're AOEing, so that they're gonna die when you are rooted. And I don't loot in this video because I had full bags when I did this run, so I couldn't loot, but uh, you will basically gain like 200 rune cloth uh, around uh, every p uh, run you do. That's how crazy the rune cloth are. And one rune cloth uh, stack is currently like 8 gold on my server, because you need them for, uh, for basically leveling it, um, first aid, you need them to um, get uh, exalted with um, Orgrimmar and stuff, you can turn cloth in for for rep, so that's why they're still quite expensive and why this farm is going to be really good. 
So right here you saw that I pulled the dog boss, but he will reset, so there's no point in pulling him. You can actually skip him all in all, because he doesn't really give you anything. You can feel like if you're doing the runs quick enough, you can pull him. Uh, here I block to gather the mobs, and then I AOE them down. And then I finish off the quartermaster boss. Um, you can blink his uh, stun he does. You kill it faster. And then you go up here to the second to last uh, room. Um, I'm doing this entire room in one pool, but one of the mobs here has a ability that they will basically portal you to them, so that can happen, but you wanna basically try loss it somewhere. So here I got poured the back, I was like, oh shit, well, guess I killed them here then. So I blast wave them, dragon's breath, AOE them down. I pull the last two mobs. And then I'm gonna let him die from the living bomb I have on him, because I'm not gonna loot. And then this is the last pull of the run you're doing. Um, if you want to reset quick, uh, I recommend you to make a group with yourself, with an alt. You log out, you log the alt and you reset the instance and then you log back in. It will take you to the graveyard. And it's just outside Blackrock Mountains, so it's a bit to walk, but I still think it's the fastest way to get back. And yeah, that's basically all for this video guys. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments. And thank you for watching. Feel free to check out my other videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one.